Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Tell you what resonates for you as always. So we have the Angel of Balance, number 48 for those of you who like the numbers. So balance is about to be restored here. Maybe getting some assistance. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you for the weekend message for Aquarius. Thank you. So we have the Ten of Cups, my rainbow of blessings card. Everything falls into place and feels harmonious, bliss, uplifted, the love flows. It can represent long-term committed relationships, marriage, family, even extended family. Um, yeah, lovely energy. Queen of Cups, Queen of Emotion, Queen of Hearts, male or female, could be your energy that you're adopting or somebody who's connected to you in some way. We have the King of Swords, which is the card of Aquarius for me in the minor arcana, male or female, this will be you. Somebody doing the right thing, maybe, for some of you. We have the Seven of Wands. So there's a message here. What needs to be done to bring balance back? And it feels like, for some of you, this could be about making a deeper commitment. It can be to do with long-term committed relationships, marriage, like I said, for some of you. For others of you, it could well be doing the right thing for other reasons. Clearly, there are two people here in this situation. Again, male or female is interchangeable. One person, regardless of which, has been defensive. The Seven of Wands can be about being defensive. But this is then doing the right thing with the King of Swords. So this could be about extending a relationship or developing a relationship, deepening a commitment in some way, having a family, buying a home or property together, you know, getting married, you know, adopting children. This can be the energy if somebody's doing the right thing by the other person. That can be the energy here. It could be other areas as well here. It could be something that affects your relationship. If one person wants to move and the other one didn't, this is how do we achieve balance. The Seven of Wands can be a little bit like uh, somebody digging their heels in. They could be defensive for a number of reasons. It could be past history or fears in situations as well. Has made somebody very defensive and insecure and only being prepared to go so far if it's the relationship itself. For those of you, it's been, I don't want to do the thing that you want to do. This is somebody who has been standing their ground because they just didn't want to do it. They dug their heels in for whatever reason. This is a sign here, Aquarius, about doing the right thing uh, or the right thing being done to you, somebody doing the right thing to you or you doing the right thing for somebody to bring balance back because this is where things are out of balance because one person might want to do something and the other person doesn't want to do the thing. Now, this could be something smaller. It could be a significant issue. You understand what I'm saying? If it's not the relationship itself, then it could be in another area of life where the other person didn't want to do the thing that the other person wanted to do. This is where harmony is going to be restored because someone's realizing, okay, I'm going to do the right thing because that's what's required. Queen of Cups, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Emotion, male or female again. This is somebody who likes emotional balance. So it does signify here with the energies of these cards that balance is achieved and it affects the home, the family, the relationship in some way. That's what I have for you. But the message is somebody, is it, it really is somebody realizing to bring balance back to a situation, they're going to have to give ground in some way. And it might, it's sometimes the seven of wands, it's not always the case, but it can be a little bit egotistical. Well, I want my own way. You know, I want my own way. I'm happy with the way things are, or I, I don't want to do that. I want to do this other thing. You know, this can be the energy here where someone is just realizing that digging their heels in and taking a particular stance is not healthy. And balance needs to be restored in the sense that you find some common ground, you meet in the middle, you find some kind of um, happy place, common ground where you can see the way forward here. 
So I'm going to pull you an affirmation. Let's see what we have, Aquarius. I make a difference by being who I am. These don't always scan in actually because they're quite tiny. Yeah, the message is I make a difference by being who I am. And I will pull you a fairy card. What do we have as a final message for Aquarius, please? Thank you. Yeah, pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire for pure, with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And that's the energy here. It's for the highest good of all. You know, is the position that I'm taking the right one? And do I, I really need to do the right thing in order to get balance back? That is the energy between these. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.